now from a place that's seen its share of great moments. Hey guys, welcome back to MLB 15, the show. We changed some things up. I went back to dynamic difficulty, and I'm going to try dynamic difficulty on directional hitting. So we're not going to be swinging zone in this video. We're going to go ahead and give it a try. It's probably going to be a short video because we're a designated hitter. If that's the case, then we'll probably play two games. But we're going to see how we like directional hitting. And let's also get a brief look at our two starting pitchers as you see how they stack up right there. And we're coming up to bat. One out. We scored two. Let's see if we can get on base here. We'll stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give him a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. Mm. So I'm not really sure exactly how directional hitting works. I think I do. I think you just move the left stick. Not like that. Now the first pitch. And the first pitch here is pulled on and the not a good hit. But as I was saying, I think uh, basically you just influence where the ball is going to go. I don't think it's you guess where it's at because that's what guess pitch is for. I think it's it like if I go left, I mean right or left, that's where you're basically going to want the ball to go. Okay, so let's try to get it here. First offering on the way. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Runners Change my bat up a little bit. Wish I could have two bats, just opposite ways. I like the way they look, you know, both ways. The one -oh pitch. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2-0 and oh now. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yesterday I was doing pretty bad. That's not unrelated either. When you're That's why I switched to veteran. Play, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you find yourself in these kind of counts. So you don't really have to worry about swinging the zone. Or moving the zone, sorry, excuse me. And we got a good hit. Going to get an RBI. I think we timed that perfectly. I kind of like directional hitting. It's more it's more peaceful. I think um, I'm, I'm probably one of those players that's going to want to go back and forth, though. I'll probably get bored of directional. And then I'll go back to zone. I'll be like, oh, yay, zone's fun. Zone's fr fun. And then I'll get tired of zone and want to kind of like play a directional. I don't know. I was kind of like that in MLB 14. Here's the first offering. Swing and, a hot shot and another good hit. And I don't think he's going to go. Oh, he is going to go. Now don't know if that's a good home. idea. Nope. Is in time and he's cut down at the plate as I don't think you're supposed to do that in MLB because they're a lot better in the MLB. All right. Winning by one. Try to get on base, two outs. Brandon White will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first. I think it's a good idea to play directional hitting at the higher uh, difficulties because that plate just gets so small. That's what one thing I don't like about the harder difficulties on zone hitting. Alrighty. First pitch coming. Now a first pitch change up. Change up. Too far inside. It's one and all. Gotta say they've done. I'm one of those people that doesn't like choosing their own difficulties. Like I don't want to choose my own difficulty. I just want it. I don't know. I guess you you just can't make a perfect video game. But y'all know what I mean. I just want it to be challenging, but not stupid. Saw that one drop. It was a high one, but it's all right. Griffin on one and one. Okay, that one didn't drop. That was a fastball. This this is kind of more peaceful. Kind of like it right now, at the moment. A two-one offering. Oh, this is powered into left field for a base hit. <laughs> it's a lot more easier not moving the zone around. Got to tell you. Another 
line drive single here. That's their seventh hit now in the ball game. And, and keep in mind, guys, you don't have to choose a specific one. Like, I, I put the experienced uh, template, like difficulty settings, and it was automatically on directional. I moved it manually to zone hitting because that's what I ended ended off with on uh, MLB four, 14. But they're both good. I mean, if, if you want to be, I guess, more immersed in a way, uh, zone hitting, you know, it's pretty fun. If you don't really want to use the zone, you're just you just you know you kind of you kind of would rather look at the pitch and be challenged in that type of way. It just depends on you. I don't know, but Hall of Fame plus zone hitting is kind of hard. Kind of annoying, and I don't know it. He's going to be... Damn, that sucked. Barely got him. Alright, let's try to get on base again. It's going pretty good with uh, directional hitting. Haven't really moved moved it, but... um. Now here's the first pitch. Hit hard back Damn, in the middle. Man. How easy are these, these pitches? That was right down the middle. Oh yeah, he's got that magic wand going now. You see, if I was doing zone, I'd probably be missing it because he's been a tough out all game long. I was explaining in another video. I think I'm better with looser sticks. Kind of like how the PS3 sticks are, and probably the Xbox One sticks. I felt them before; they're kind of loose now. It gives me, I don't know, like. I guess I'll use Call of Duty as an example. Like when I when I was sniping and like Black Ops Part One on PS3 or you know games like that, I always felt better. Shit. With loose sticks and like I'll be sniping and uh, in Ghost I wasn't that bad though. I don't know, but I, in Advanced Warfare I can't really snipe that good anymore. I don't. They kind of added this retarded sway, so that's probably why. But. I still think overall I sniped yeah, better with the really the looser sticks. And the same thing with zone hitting. I, I feel like I can't move the zone and re look at the ball and react at the same time while you know being really precise with the left stick. That's just what I think. Like I could be wrong. Maybe I just suck. Maybe I need more practice. I don't know, but. It's kind of frustrating. So I'm kind of just playing around with the settings right now. Veterans seem very easy. If you saw those uh, last thing was two videos. Got home runs. Really, really wasn't that hard. I mean, you, you're challenged, but you, you get some good pitches to hit. And the only reason, the only way you're going to get, you know, bad hits on those pitches if you, if you hit them to the you know the a bad area like right at the center fielder or something like that i mean you're not going to have perfect games on veteran but it it is generally easier it's a good balance here now the 2-2 back up the middle and that'll get i'm going home i think i'll make it oh yeah the throw was so off it pulled him off so i was going to get that So, all right. That was probably the last that bad. I think we won by a point. Oh, man, we had a great game. Only missed one. And we got an RBI, so a good game there. So, that was a good game. I think we're going to ride with directional hitting for a little bit, see how far we can get on dynamic. Trying to fill it out a little bit more. Final stats for the game, 3 for 4, an RBI, and 3 base hits. It was pretty fun. I have no idea who got player of the game. I don't think it was me. It was either uh, that Yonder guy or Matt Kemp, because they got home runs and RBIs, you know. It's probably that Yonder guy. He did a lot better, because he got a home run and two RBIs.
and one run. So, still a good game. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next game coming up right now. Gonna probably upload this one. We just got through playing. And I hope you all are enjoying the series. Let me know what settings you all like, if you all have the game, what you all think I should try. And, yep. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next video. Laters.